Welcome back to Central Florida Fishermen. I'm Chad. We got the Rattan Sequoia loaded up with some fishing rods, fabricated a little bit of rod holders on the back. We're gonna go pond hopping. See what we can catch. I got some earthworms, got some little paddle tail lures, and uh, just gonna zip around town to most of these spots you can't park at, can't get to in a car. Um, be able to pull right down in on the bike, fish the ponds, and ride out. But uh, I'm stoked. Let's get going. All right, so up here we got a couple lakes. Well, not lakes, ponds. I don't know why I always say lakes. A couple ponds that I've never fished before. Just because there's really nowhere to park. Tell you before this bike I wasn't riding any other bike around. Thumb throttle some of this now that it's a little smoother. There's one over here. I don't know if it's got fish in it or not. I think it's got a sign there that says, please fish here. I'm not sure. Yeah, it says, please fish here. So we'll have to fix that one. And then we got this one, which is really nowhere to park here. It's all neighborhood around it. You can't park up on the curb because you can't get over the curb. It just says no swimming. Property no trespassing. All right. So I guess we'll try to fish this one. I think there's another pond right on the other side of it too we can check out. So I got just a little jig head with a little paddle tail on there. You know my color black and silver. Too. All right, we are at our next spot. Beautiful pond right here. Hopefully, the bass are feeding. Bike running amazingly. I mean, it's. I don't 
don't even know. I went, I don't know, probably four miles to come to this pond riding, and uh, I feel great. Uh, it gives me a little bit of a workout in the higher gear moving fast, but uh, it saves a lot of energy too. You know, 90 some degrees today, 94 I think. Um, so it would be hot on a regular bike, but this bike, zipping, zipping. So let's get the rods off the back here and uh, see if we can catch a bass. All right, we'll just keep moving down here. We got that gator watching us over here. Nice looking gator. He's pretty. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll fish the rest of this pond. We got some rain coming in, so I'm getting a little vigilant on that. Paying attention. I don't want to get caught out in the thunderstorm. If we do, we'll just continue this video tomorrow. That's all. Ain't nothing but a thing. But, uh, Let's keep moving. I mean, this is a blast. I'm having having so much fun. So here's that gator that took off and went in there. He's over there just keeping an eye on me to make sure I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be doing. Look at that. He's beautiful. He's working his way this way towards me. He might think I'm dinner. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, so I found this little canal. And I found a bunch of little mine cichlids. So we're going to see if we can catch one of them. Looks like there's some bluegills mixed in with them as well. That is a tilapia. They seem to have taken over every waterway we have here. Slimy suckers. Hard to hold on to. I don't know the exact kind of tilapia, but... Good too.
or see what other invasives are in here. I've never fished this, so it's a totally new spot for me. Ooh, it doesn't take long for them to get a hold of it. So we got something. The littlest fish ever. A little bluegill. They're supposed to be in here, so that's a good thing to see them. Either way you grab these suckers, you can get stabbed. All right, let's try to find a different spot. Super cool. Urban fishing at its finest. Fired up. It's like as soon as it hits the water, look at that. They're on. Let's get hooked up. All right. Another little bluegill.
Seems like they can catch one or two out of here and then they get shy. See what we got this time. Another native, another bluegill. That's good. We'll get our worm back on here. Fish on it already. Another one. Another little bluegill. Another native. That's a good thing. Ferocious. Sucker. Well, these are now known as the Florida bass, not the largemouth bass. Maybe we'll get him back. There it goes. Very cool. All in this little stream. It's not even like a stream, more of just a drain ditch. But fish are in here. The fish are in here. We'll ride up around here. We'll see how far we can take this. I don't know how far we're allowed to be up in here, but eh, we're on a bike with a fishing rod. We're harmless. So let's uh, let's continue. Ah, first invasive out of this hole. Little tilapia. Look at that little sucker. First invasive out of this hole. Oh, try not to get stabbed again. They seem to be good for that.
And another little bluegill. He's pretty. He's bright colored. Look at that tail. Alright. Alright, let's uh, move it along. Let's go try to find another spot. Urban fishing at its finest. Raton Sequoia. Go get yourself one. Contacted the company. You can save yourself $150 by using code CF150. Well, that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I was going to start fishing some other spots, but the sky is just getting too nasty. The wind's picking up real bad. Makes it hard to fish those little streams. But uh, we got out there. We got it done. Riding that Rattan Sequoia. Check them out. Link's in the description below. Until the next video, I'm out.